Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nick. I'm Jacob. And together we are the Shonen, Shonen Bros. Bros. And today we're going to be reacting to Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 25. That is right. And, oh man, you know, it's it's been leading up to this. Yep. I know. Yep. We got we finally got the whole, well, not the whole gang, but we got a lot of the gang back together. And they're going to go try stop Eren. Oh, yeah. And we, uh, last episode, we got a revelation with... Uh, Connie mm -hmm. and him with Falco and kind of saying like you know this you know my mom's been there for years and you know at, at, on top of this roof um, and he was gonna f feed him to to his mom mm -hmm. and then obviously Armin got there a time with Gabby and Armin was like you know what I'm just gonna kill myself for to bring your mom back and obviously Connie didn't let that happen instantly let go of Falco saved Armin and kind of realized that what he did was dumb and he shouldn't have done that and now we also got to see Annie more mm -hmm. um, eating some food stuffing her face yep oh yeah we know we love to see that and uh and Connie and them saw the all star for the first time and laughed at her because the way she ate and uh you know to be fair she was trapped in an iceberg for like four years four years so yeah i mean seems natural yeah but yeah so then they met up uh, back with reiner and uh and he was like huh <laughs> he was like <laughs> <laughs> and then we got to see levi for first time in a while yeah yeah yeah. Uh, oh was... yeah we skipped at that whole thing with like jean and flock yeah, and, yeah oh right scene. yeah where he like was like oh i miss <laughs> Yeah. And then Pete comes out of nowhere and just... Uh, just ramming through people. Yeah. He, you know, John really did sell it, though, I will say. Mm -hmm. John really did make it look like he got killed by that Titan. Mm -hmm. Like, by Peek. So, gun on him. But they were about to uh, kill off Yelena and on Yuka mm -hmm. Um, You know, for being traitors. And actually thinking they were working with Marley. Yep. Right? Which, they're just working with Zeke. Which, he wasn't really for Marley anyway. But for the euthanization plan, um, per se. So they're about to kill him off, and then they got saved by Peek. Um, and and I remember, if I remember also correctly, uh, Yelena was saved um, because of uh, Magath. So now we're going to kind of get why with that. And mm -hmm. then as well as the whole gang, the Avengers coming up together, taking on Thanos himself. Yes, this massive mammoth of a giant creature bigger than any colossal titan i think it's like four times the size of a colossal yeah. i think it's like 240 like in meters mm -hmm. that's insane that's like that is yeah that's like over half the length of a football field like our like over i'm not half like over a, a football field and a half i'm pretty sure that's oh, yeah. like how it's, a football field is uh 100, 100 yards so times that by feet right whatever the conversion is right and then add another half football field, and that's how big Aaron is. Yeah, that is. Wow. Yeah, that is insane. something along those lines. That's like that, bruh. Hey, we're not we're not good at math here. We don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, statics. I'm just fine. Uh, no, yeah. So that was really cool to see, like kind of like the analysis. I remember saw like a video on the colossal time side, and then Aaron is like, massive. Like, massive. So um, I don't know if it's this episode where we're going to see more of Aaron. I think. Mm. I'm not sure if this episode is ne next episode, but, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this episode and kind of how they direct this one, because this one's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you guys want to see more Attack on Titan reactions, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. Also, make sure you guys click the link down in the description down below for all our social media links, all at Shona underscore bros, and the in Instagram is Shona Bros Official. And as well, as always, make sure you guys comment down below what other animes, openings, or endings you guys would like us to react to next for our future uh, videos and series we react to next from our future polls that we'll be doing every time a series ends. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. And now let's get into Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 25. <laughs> Some John future aspirations. Yeah. Look at John vibing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
you know, it's it's what he wants, but yeah. at the same thing, it's what his true heart really doesn't want. Yeah. Because he knows he wants to do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> ブジではないが生きてるよ。私たちは車力の巨人だ。マーレ残党と手を組んだ。エレンを止めるためだ。皆殺しは間違ってる。Yep. That's, that's huge for Mikasa. I know. Mikasa. Oh, that's also valid. Mm -hmm. That's huge for Mikasa. I know. Mikasa. Oh, that's huge世界を doesn't seem like it. Including Erwin. Yeah. Uh, oh, you see Erwin in the background? Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. Rip Mitch, dude. Oh, man, my guy. The, the real one. The way he died was a sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Everyone, everyone back there are real ones to me. Yeah, for real. Oh, oh. Marco. <laughs> no. No. There, there we go. Night of the end. No intro. No intro. Not gonna lie, that looks kind of tasty. Sasha would have loved it. <laughs> for real. Big facts. Sanzan Koroshiatta mono doste mishi o kakobu ka. Doste ki ga kaotu. エレン家は放っておけば、お前らが望む世界が手に入るのだぞ。我々はあと少しのところで、お前らが奴らの手助けをしなければな。私たちは虐殺なんて望んでない。じゃなきゃこそこそ森に逃げ隠れて、つまり
Come on. Mm -hmm. Don't even don't do that. Yeah, true. You would get absolutely bodied. Everyone has something to lose. あ、フライングボート。でも、自分の故郷のためにマーレと。<笑> これ以上に人を引きつける もちろんパラディ島の皆さん。普段は良識人のあなたが。あそこまで派手に軍港を破壊するとは。ある意味。皆さんのレベル用での勇士を私は忘れてはいません。特にちゃん。そこにいるファルコ少年願け。勇猛
Because she knows that she knows that the Marlians are wrong and that they're the one that insinuated this whole thing. Oh, there's Levi. Oh, Kiro. Yeah, they, they healed a long time ago. Yeah. And there they go. You know what this scene reminds me of? When they're in the carriage in, season, in part one of season four. Yeah. It's like the same thing. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, fair. <laughs> For what? It's a me, bro. みんなとが、みんなとが家側派に占拠されています。愛巨人用装備の兵士たちが多く、戦闘態勢でした。うん。おうよ。Look who it is. Look who it is. Oh, okay. Wow. That was that was good, bro. That was oh really God. good. Pretty much pretty much the entire episode was just them sitting around and talking, but it was still fantastic. Them getting everything out in the open, yeah, just talking oh. to each other, finally just talking with your enemy instead of just fighting them immediately. Yeah. Real because before they didn't want to talk, like now but now they're forced to, but now they like come to a closure almost. Mm -hmm. It's like we're both not really devils, we're just protecting our land. Mm -hmm. You know, you got I know technically two thousand years ago the Eldia, you know, conquered Marley first, but in reality, you guys attacked Marley, or I attacked Eldia after a certain amount of peace. There's a peace going on, mm -hmm. right? And then you guys attacked them out of nowhere, out of left field, and you let all the Titans in and pretty much started like another world war, pretty mm -hmm. much. And yeah. because of that, it started with Aaron and his whole story, pretty much, because you you went and invaded the wall, you took yep. down the wall, and now it's coming around for a circle where you know they went attack them and and the the Barrio. Right and and Marley, mm -hmm. and because of that, I was like, oh, now they're devils because they attacked us. Like you guys technically attacked them first. It just keeps going, like in a circle. It's just an endless loop. Exactly. So it's like there's really no justification for anything because guess what? They attacked him, right? Mm -hmm. But even then, even Aaron could not have attacked him, but he felt like he had to because yeah. he felt like he he was going to be taken down by the Marleyans. Yeah, Mar sooner or later. Marley and the Agerist are both in the wrong, because like one, they're they're having un unprovoked, unjustified uh, treatment of the Eldians both on the main continent and on Paradise, or Parody. And the Jaegerists are uh, like, gonna do genocide. So. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. But, yeah. um, I really liked the tension with, with John and, like, oh, yeah. the thing with Marco, dude. <laughs> totally forgot they didn't even mention it to him yet like how he died like yeah and he just took all his anger out on right in there just started beating him up face palming it reminds me of when annie beat him up it's when marcel died mm -hmm. like he started pounding his face in and the same thing again but he just let it happen because he knew he knows he can't fight back on that you like i was on you mm -hmm. you're the reason why marco died because mm -hmm. you gave annie the order to strip his odm gear and he got eaten alive mm -hmm. because you pinned him yeah. And you know that's actually really cool. I kind of just thought of it. It's like really foreshadowing. In season one, he's like, "Let's talk it out." They didn't even let him do it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's like extremely foreshadowing. Like, like he's like, "Let's talk it out." Let's actually talk it out. You know, promise. You know, you. You know, Mar Marco and Armin are the two that have always wanted to talk it out. Because even Armin, like, uh, let's say in like season three, part two, he wanted to talk it out with Berthold. He's like, please, let's just negotiate. And Berthold's like, nope, sorry, we just want to kill you all and get Aaron. Mm. No, I know, I know the most like because it's summer, yeah. Yeah, the most important, not most important, but the part that really hit home for me was like seeing Irwin and all the scouts. Oh in the yeah, dude, I was like, that oh, was, dude, man, it's especially seeing some of how some of them died. 
because especially Mitch, I don't, I don't know why Mitch got immensely screwed over the way he died. Yeah, with the Beast Titan. Yeah, when he freaking just gets like his gear taken away from him. I was really, I was actually kind of sad he didn't get like a proper death. He just got mauled by Titans mm -hmm. after he was stripped from, you know, Zeke. Um, yeah. But seeing the commander there was very, very cool. Oh, yeah. And very nostalgic from season three, especially. Oh, yeah. With Erwin and and the scouts and, and all that. Especially there, because there's some of them that we saw, especially right there, where uh, season three, when they all died. Um, especially, uh, not not Moblet, but what was his name? Marlo. Marlo, yeah. right, that guy. Mob Moblet, though? Moblet? He's a, a real, real one. A real goat, yeah, yeah, for real. Saving Hanji. Yes, right. Always sticking by her side until the very end. That's right. And, uh, yeah, this episode was really good. I know it wasn't, like, action-packed, really, but it was very much emotionally packed. I thought this episode really settled down the emotions between Marley's side in terms of, like, the core people and Marley and the core people in, in Eldia and Parody, right? It kind of settled like, yo, if we just had talked this out before, none of this would have ever happened. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you, you thought we were devils because of our past ancestors' actions. You never wanted to talk out because we, you thought we were just devils. And our ideas or negotiations would have been blasphemous. Mm -hmm. And would have been, like, out of this world things that you, you, you guys would have been like, nope, no, we're still killing you all. Mm -hmm. Right? But now they actually talk it out. It's, like, kind of hard to think any of them as devils or any of them to be bad people. You're just doing what you had to do to defend your, your home, mm -hmm. you know? So I uh, I really thought that was cool. And y Yelena Lou just going on a spree of just pointing out at what everybody did, like, to kill people. Mm -hmm. This is why you're you're a bad person. You did this wrong. You, well, it's not you the did fact this. You it, did this. It's not the fact she thinks he's better. It's the fact that we're all devils. Mm -hmm. Like, like or in the story, they're all devils. Like, they, they all you know, uh, did something wrong to consider themselves the devil. They all have killed somebody, except uh, Commander Maggoth, I don't think, has really... I mean, killed probably... Commander, Commander Maggoth has, has killed people. He's... But, but, yeah, but, like, soldiers, like cadets. I know that still counts, but it's like he did kill a main cast member or something. Mm -hmm. Right? I think everybody else... Well, Falco, too. Well, oh, no, Falco killed Porker, but that wasn't, like, on purpose. Yeah. Like, you know, intentional killing. Like, probably just Maggoth and Falco. That, like that's because of their morals, though. Especially Falco. Falco's very much like Armin. Like, mm -hmm. doesn't want to kill anybody unless he absolutely has to. You know, the only reason why Armin did that because he, he felt like he absolutely had to in order for Aaron to succeed and, uh, on, you know, destroying Marley, pretty much. But he was the pretty much, ep like, nuke. Oh, yeah, to, to like, destroy the port. Yeah, destroy the port, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and he, But even he felt bad right after, though. A lot of these people don't even have remorse. Mm -hmm. Gabby had no remorse killing Sasha until, like, way after, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, Armin immediately felt remorse after he did. He was like, is this what you saw Berth Berthold every time you used your, your explosion or your nuke when, or you know, every time you transformed and you did, like, use this power? Mm -hmm. Is this how you felt, right? And, yeah. he, and Armin was sad, right? And back in season one and in season two, I saw, and like maybe some of season three, that's how Aaron felt too when he would kill somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, unless it was a Titan, then obviously he felt great. But with people, he would be like petrified, pretty mm -hmm. much, right? But now he's like a cold blooded killer. Obviously, we all know it's a facade. It's not really how he is. He just he has to put that on so, you know, he can save his friends. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, uh, with, you know, uh, Falco and Magath, they're, they're not like that. Mm -hmm. They're totally different um, from that. I mean, obviously, if Magath had the option, he probably would just shoot Aaron right now, but... Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, Falco, you know, would not do that. Even if he had the chance to kill Aaron, he wouldn't still do it. He would figure out another way to save him. Mm -hmm. Or another way for him to still be alive and end the war, like mm -hmm. how Armin would. But, um... You, we all know that's not going to happen. Oh, uh, actually, just last thing. Um, I really like Mikasa's like development here. Oh, of, yeah. Like yeah. her, like coming to realize they need to kill Aaron. Like he was like, yeah, I'll do whatever I need to save more people on the side of that means killing Aaron, or that means getting rid of him, stopping him. You know, even Mikasa still doesn't want to do that. But no, but she says she had to. She would. Mm -hmm. 
So that, that, that's huge coming from her because we know from season four, part one, that she's an Ackerman. She goes against, you know, for Aaron's will mm -hmm. because, you know, the whole thing in season one when she got saved by Aaron and all that whole dialogue in that sequence. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this was great. We're really enjoying Attack on Titan season four, part two. It's been great. If you guys want to see more Attack on Titan reactions, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell. Also, make sure you click the link down in the description down below of our social media links. All at Shona underscore bros and Instagram Shona bros official. Also, as well, make sure you guys comment down below what other animes, openings, or anything you guys would like us to react to next. And give us suggestions because we look at all your comments. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.